America's national debt is currently climbing past $28 trillion, and the White House is asking for $6 trillion more for its federal spending bill. This bill would give NASA a total of $24.8 billion, making it the largest budget request for NASA science ever. NASA says it will use $1 billion to send two missions to check out Venus. Here are the details. The BBC reports that NASA has announced it is sending two new missions to Venus in order to examine the planet's atmosphere and geological features. The missions, which have each been awarded half a billion dollars in funding by the Biden administration, are due to launch between 2028 and 2030. The last probe to visit the planet was the Magellan Orbiter in 1990. However, other vessels have made flybys since then. Venus is the second planet from the Sun and the hottest planet in the solar system, with a surface temperature of 500 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt lead. The Da Vinci Plus mission will measure the planet's atmosphere to gain insight into how it formed and evolved. It will also aim to determine whether Venus ever had an ocean. The second mission, called Veritas, will map the planet's surface to understand its geologic history and investigate how it developed so differently from Earth. It will use a form of radar to chart surface elevations and to find out whether volcanoes and earthquakes are still happening. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said the missions would offer the chance to investigate a planet we haven't been to in more than 30 years. Astronomers have speculated for decades that life could exist in the clouds of Venus. Now, a shocking discovery is making scientists take this idea very, very seriously. Here is what they found. In an experiment made from pure curiosity, scientists from Cardiff University, the University of Manchester, and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology scanned the clouds of Venus and detected phosphine, a gas that could be a sign of life. The findings were published in the journal Nature Astronomy. Venus is about the size and the same mass as Earth. Its diameter is 12,104 kilometers. Earth's is 12,756 kilometers. Unlike Earth and all the other planets in the solar system except Uranus, Venus rotates from east to west, and it rotates on its axis very slowly. A day on Venus lasts 243 Earth days. Venus is also the hottest planet in the solar system. A runaway greenhouse gas effect makes surface temperatures hot enough to melt lead, with an atmospheric surface pressure 90 times greater than that on Earth. But high up in its atmosphere, there's a spot that is neither too hot nor too cold for life. To make their discovery, the scientists used the James Clerk Maxwell Telescope in Hawaii. They were shocked when they found hints of phosphine in Venus's spectrum. The team later confirmed the detection using the more sensitive ALMA Observatory in Chile. Phosphine is a biosignature gas. On Earth, it's made by microbes that thrive without oxygen. Other processes that could create phosphine on Venus, volcanoes, lightning, sunlight, or minerals blown up from the surface would only account for a maximum of one ten-thousandth of the amount detected. In a recent paper led by astronomer Sarah Seeger at MIT, the authors note there is a sweet spot 48 to 60 kilometers up in the clouds above Venus. They hypothesize that microbes could live there, drying up as they fall to the lower atmosphere, and then rehydrating as they return to the cloud layer by upward diffusion. In a statement, Jane Greaves, the lead researcher on the phosphine discovery from Cardiff University, said, This was an experiment made out of pure curiosity. I thought we'd just be able to rule out extreme scenarios, like the clouds being stuffed full of organisms. When we got the first hints of phosphine in Venus's spectrum, it was a shock. Of course, this is not definitive proof that life exists on Venus. In an opinion piece on CNN, Sarah Seeger from MIT wrote her takeaway is that it indicates there is something highly unusual going on to produce phosphine, either some completely unknown chemistry or possibly some kind of microbial type life. New research shows that Venus may have once been habitable like Earth before it was turned into a hell-like planet by a mysterious event. According to the Europlanet Society, NASA's pioneer Venus found evidence in 1978 that Venus may have once had shallow oceans on its surface. To see if it has ever had a stable climate that can support liquid water, researchers from NASA's Goddard Institute of Space Studies created a series of five simulations with different levels of water coverage. According to all five scenarios, Venus maintained a stable temperature of between 20 to 50 degrees Celsius for about 3 billion years. This means it would have been able to support liquid water and possibly allow life to emerge. Researchers believe a massive resurfacing event 700 million years ago triggered an outgassing of carbon dioxide that made Venus's atmosphere too hot and dense for life to survive. The exact cause of the resurfacing event is unknown, but scientists say it may be linked to volcanic activity. 
Magma and molten rock flowing up to the surface would have released large amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. If magma solidifies before reaching the top, it can create a barrier that would have prevented gas from being reabsorbed. Although more missions are needed to better understand Venus's history and evolution, the recent findings have implications for exoplanets in the Venus zone and how they may actually host liquid water and temperate climates. A new study theorizes that the dark splotches on Venus may be a sign that there's life on the planet. Microbial life, that is. Climate models suggest Venus had a habitable climate and liquid water for two billion years before a runaway greenhouse gas effect raised surface temperatures and turned the atmosphere toxic. New research now suggests that microorganisms may be living in the planet's lower cloud layer, which has a stable temperature and more Earth-like atmospheric pressure. Dark patches on Venus could be microbial blooms made of sulfuric acid and other light-absorbing particles, which can persist for days while changing shape and contrast. Certain bacteria on Earth can survive in high altitudes after being swept into the atmosphere. Others have also been known to thrive in extremely harsh environments. Thus far, the probes that have explored Venus have been incapable of distinguishing between organic and inorganic particles. So until a new contraption gets there, no one knows for sure if life does exist on the hottest planet in the solar system. For the first time ever, scientists are studying Venus's mysterious night side and have found that it's vastly different from its day side. It takes Venus 225 days to revolve around the sun and 243 days to fully rotate on its axis. As a result, night and day on the planet last longer than on Earth. So far, the day side has been studied extensively, but the night side has been notoriously difficult to observe until now. Venus's atmosphere consists of strong winds blowing 60 times faster than the planet's rotation. This super rotation has been assumed to be uniform in both sides, but new data shows the winds are more chaotic and irregular on the night side. Night side clouds formed large, wavy, filament-like patterns not seen in day clouds and are dominated by stationary waves, which remain still and do not move with the atmosphere. Stationary waves are thought to form specifically over steep mountainous areas, but were recently detected in the planet's southern hemisphere, an area with low elevation. The waves were likewise assumed to be rising up through the cloud from the surface, but were mysteriously missing from the lower and intermediate cloud levels. Scientists have yet to explore what this means, but will likely need to come up with new, updated models of Venus to help them figure it out. A failed 1970s Russian Venus probe which has been trapped in Earth orbit could crash back into the planet this year. According to Space.com, the Cosmos 482 Venus probe was launched on March 31, 1972, but due to a rocket malfunction, failed to escape Earth's orbit. A large portion of the failed spacecraft still remains in orbit today as space junk, but according to experts, could fall back to Earth this year. According to Don Mitchell, who studies Soviet space history talking to Space.com, when the Cosmos 482 mission failed, a heavy frame of tanks and equipment were jettisoned from the probe and burned up in Earth's atmosphere. However, the Cosmos 482 Venus entry capsule is still adrift, orbiting the Earth every 112 minutes. The lander mass is 1,091 pounds and is equipped with significant thermal protection. According to satellite watcher Thomas Dorman talking to Space.com, the failed probe could fall back to Earth this year or mid-next year. According to Space.com, previous estimates had the probe falling between 2023 and 2025. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.